So in this question, we're going to be looking at this capacitor and turning on a battery and then watching the electrons sort of shift over and uh, they're coming from this depth, uh, you know, from inside here, and creating this sort of plus or minus difference in this battery. It's kind of what's happening. So we're given the electron density. That's going to be uh, this weird curly N. And... Uh, well, uh, what is electron density? Hmm. Um, well, let's recall that Q is going to be equal to the number of electrons. And um, we could also say that Q is going to be equal to uh, this weird thing, N A dense. That's the depth. This is the density. This is the depth. Where they're coming from, we'll put D here and then the electron charge here. The number times the electron charge. Okay, cool. And then this over here is gonna be the density times the area times the depth that it's coming from times the electron charge. And um, yeah, I mean, it's just kind of, this is what electron density is here. This N, electron density. You can kind of imagine uh, you know, how many electrons are there, and how far are they in, and what's the area here, and that's going to be the charge. Great. Uh, we also know capacitance is equal to, uh, so we also know that Q is equal to CV. Okay. And that's the voltage, that's the capacitance, and that's the charge. And they're asking for the ratio C over A. So what we can do is set this equal to that. So that's N A D E equals C V. And from there, we can say, let's rearrange this by shifting V over here and A over here. And then all we need to do is solve for the density, which was going to be this, 8.49 E to the 28 electrons over meters to the third, and then we have the depth over here, which was supposed to be four um, picometers, which is e to the negative 12 meters, and then we have the electron charge, which is 1.6 e to the, um, e to the uh, negative 19, I believe. And then we have the single ones. Then there's going to be over uh, volume. Oh, that's the V, that's the voltage. Um, 20 V, 20 volts. Okay, great. So we should be able to plug this into the calculator and get an answer. 8.49 E to the 28. And then here there's going to be times 4 E to the 12. Oh, the negative 12 times 1.6 e to the negative 19 divided by 20. And uh, yeah, that would be the correct answer. So 2.7 e to the negative thirds. And I suppose this is farads over, um, over meters squared because it's area. So that's going to be what the c over a is equal to. Interesting.